I'm surrounded all day at current by people who are deeply troubled by fracking and who believe at a sort of base level that you can't put stuff into the ground at that pressure, that much stuff, and have it come back up without there being very real environmental disasters that will result. And that is common sense. There is also a school of thought, and I've spoken to energy executives who say, if you do it right, it is safe. Doing it right is, of course, the out that they take. I'm skeptical right now. I just don't know how you can put that much stuff into the ground at that pressure and recycle it back up without damaging our aquifers, without doing fundamental harm. Is it is the opportunity to get natural gas from shale uh, an extraordinarily tempting answer to the existing problems of dirty coal and nuclear? You bet. That, that, that is what hangs in the balance. I mean, when, when you deal with energy, you're, we're dealing with a series of options. A few years ago, before the fracking uh, explosion, bad metaphor too, before the fracking possibility, what was on as part of the conversation, nuclear power was gaining traction as an environmentally good answer. From a greenhouse gas perspective, it is appealing. Then we had Fukushima, and then we had the realization that we still haven't dealt seriously with the disposal issue, but it certainly appears better than dirty coal. Renewables, which are of course the right answer, renewables and efficiency. When I was governor, we put in I think it was 15 by 15 or 20 by 20, 15 by 20, 15 by 15. We're going to reduce our energy demand by 15% because of efficiency gains, and that is, it's doable. It's not only doable with continued economic growth. If you push efficiency and you, and you use renewables, um, is where we need to go. Should we have a carbon tax? Unquestionably, yes. It is good policy. It is a conservative economic idea that would push us away from carbon-based fuels towards all the right answers. Um, would, would Mitt Romney go for it? I doubt it, even though Glenn Hubbard, his uh, uh, economic advisor, has written favorably about it in the past. But this is not to distract from the tough issue of fracking. We need a redirection. The president is trying to do it. You know, I'm not totally thrilled. He asked earlier on about where he had been a little bushy. On some of his energy positions, he's been a bit mushy. Um, but I suppose that's a 